Okay, so um, welcome to those of you in the room um, and those who are now viewing this um, on their cable. Um, this is our selectmen's meeting, October 27, 2015. The board uh, began the meeting at 6 p.m. Um, and entered into executive session immediately at the outset of the meeting to discuss a matter of litigation. Um, we're now um, out of the executive session. We'll move into the public portion of our meeting agenda. And um, as we always do at the outset of our meetings, I'd like to invite everyone present to please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let me also um, acknowledge and um, thank those who were here earlier um, for their patience while we attended to um, that particular uh, executive session item. Um, we appreciate your patience while we did that. So the, the first item we have on our agenda at 7 p.m. tonight is a um, liquor license hearing which involves a request to transfer a wine and malt license. Um, so what I'm going to do is read the hearing notice. This is a public hearing um, and I'd invite any representatives of um, um, the new ownership, which I believe is um, Crystal General Store, to uh, just please come forward to this particular table and um, we'll talk to you as soon as I finish reading um, the hearing notice. <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. Uh, notice is hereby given that the Board of Selectmen, in accordance with the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 138, will conduct a public hearing on the request of A. and Shankar, Inc., doing business as Crystal General Store, by Arvind K. Patel, President, to transfer a wine and malt license to Srinath, LLC, doing business as Crystal General Store, by Alka Patel, Manager, on premises described as 2,900 square feet of retail space and convenience store with one front entrance, one rear exit, and delivery access from a loading area. Located at 1120 Main Street, Tewksbury, Massachusetts, 01876. The hearing will be held on Tuesday, October 27, 2015 at 7 p.m. in the Selectman's Meeting Room located at the temporary town hall, 464 Main Street, Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Input is welcome from the public. The Board of Selectmen recommends that comments be submitted in writing to the board um, on or before noontime on Friday, October 23, 2015. So this no, um, uh, hearing notice was properly noticed and um, my colleagues have the required um, alcoholic Beverages Control Commission application and information. Um, so let me uh, turn to the um, individual in front of us um, and ask you if you would, ma'am, to just introduce yourself um, for our record and our secretary, recording secretary, will gather that information. So good yeah, evening. I'm all in Patel. Thank you. Um, so you are um, the proposed new owner? Yes. Tell us a little bit about um, what uh, you are trying to accomplish. You, you um, have been in the business before or yes, currently? I'm now running my convenience store, beer and wine store in Bella. It okay. last eight years. Yeah. And I'm, I'm the partner over there and I do working every day. Okay. So you're, are you buying the, this premises or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, do colleagues have questions? Concerning this request? Okay, and I know I'll note for the record that um, Council has reviewed this document for us. He had no concerns with it. Um, and there was, I believe, um, if you look a little further, um, I believe there was a Corey application that was completed. Um, I think we recently went through a transaction, a license transfer on this property. I don't know how long ago it was, but not too long ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, any questions? 
No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else present in the room that wishes to speak to this particular matter? It is a public hearing, as I mentioned. Okay, I don't see anybody rising. So um, with that having been said, I'll ask if any um, colleagues have any motions that they wish to make relative to this license transfer request. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the transfer of uh, Walton, uh, my Walt license for Crystal Jones store. Second. All right, so we have a motion made, and that's been seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> and I'll vote in the affirmative as well. So we're good to go. You're good to go. We wish you well. Okay. Well, good luck with your new enterprise. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, let me um, go to our next item, uh, which is to invite any residents who might be in the room who have um, any item they wish to address with the board to come forward. I don't see anyone expressing interest in that. So that brings us to the next item on our agenda in the new business category. Um, my colleagues should take note that they have um, a, an application from Mr. Darrell Hines to serve as a, an out-of-town constable. Um, and he has written to us. He has also provided correspondence from uh, various elected officials um, and um, extensive um, letter uh, relative to his own personal background. You also should have um, in your materials communication from our uh, police chief um, indicating that he has no concerns and you'll lastly note that um, we have um, a roster currently um, of seven um, constables uh, that are not Tewksbury residents we can have no more than ten so we have room on the roster for th up to three more um, and those terms are for three-year terms in this case would be a shorter term duration which would expire on June 30 of 2017 so it's a partial three-year term um, I'd ask um, if there are any questions about the application um, by any of my colleagues well, I thought the application was very complete very impressive okay. all, right, I have all right so we have no questions um, and I'd ask if there are any motions relative to that application Make a motion to approve the application, constable application for Daryl Hines. Thank you, sir. Is there a second? Second. All right. So we have a motion made by Mr. Gay, seconded by my by uh, Mr. Kratman. Um and um, just to reaffirm um, the term expiration on that, Mr. Gay would be June 30 of 2017. Is that yes? That's your motion. Correct. Okay. Um, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? chair votes aye as well. So we've now voted that um, effective immediately. All right, what brings us to uh, Mr. Montori's uh, portion of the meeting. You have some invoices to review? I do. Um, there are um, invoices from senior town council and town council uh, with the invoice packet. There are two invoices um, for the month of August and September for senior town council that I would ask the board to approve. One is in the amount of $5,277 and the other is in the amount of $7,229.84. Okay. Are there any questions on those particular invoices or their detail? And if not, are there any motions on those two invoices? I'll make a motion to approve the invoices as presented. Second, Mr. Chairman. All right, we have a motion made by Mr. Panelitis, seconded by Mr. Gay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And the chair will vote aye as well. That will be unanimous. And there are four invoices um, for the town council for again the months of August and September, since he bills uh, every two weeks. <coughs> um, the first is $2,847.50. Second is $1,785.50. Third is $2,507.50. And 
the fourth is two thousand five hundred seven dollars and fifty cents. I would recommend the board approve. Any questions for the town manager on those items? If not, I'd ask for a motion to approve. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve those invoices as stated by town manager. I'll second that. Okay, so we have a motion made and a second. <coughs> All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye as well. Back to you, Mr. Montori. The next item um, is brought forward by the fire chief. The mutual aid agreement for District <coughs> 6 uh, was recently renewed and um, when looking back over some historic documents, we couldn't find the formal vote that um, the board uh, would have taken to enter into the mutual aid uh, association agreement that's allowed under Mass General Laws Chapter 48, Section 59A. So we're asking that the board um, vote to um, approve uh, the agreement of mutual aid from Fire District 6, um, as recommended by the Fire Chief. And just as a note, uh, Fire District 6 is comprised of uh, the towns of Tewksbury, uh, North Reading, Andover, Wellington, uh, Brooklyn, Lowell, Chelmsford, Drake, and Tingsboro, Dunster, Peckle, Shirley, Devons, Ann, Littleton, and Groton. So it's a fairly large group. <coughs> All the towns have voted to be part of the district, and by the board's vote tonight, we will um, formalize our. Participation in District six, 6 for mutual aid. And this is the same district constitution that we've been participating in for a number of years, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And to the best of your recollection uh, or that of Chief Hazel, um, it, it was suggested that um, prior Board of Selectmen, maybe back into the 60s or 70s, mm -hmm. may have actually voted to enter into yes, the. We just can't find you have no record of it? Okay. So, in effect, we're going to ratify that prior decision. Um, and I know from talking with the chief in the past when he's been here, um, this is, uh, in his mind, I, I would assume, a, um, a essential element to um, how we uh, protect uh, residents. Absolutely, whether it's um, fighting fires, uh, having backup uh, for ambulance service, yeah. um, covering stations when we're uh, somewhere else. So. The towns all work well together. As I noted, the reason why I wanted to read all the towns is it's a large group. Uh, covering a large area, so sure. um, this is true regionalization. Yeah, great point. Okay, are there questions? If not, I'll ask for a motion to vote to um, maintain our membership. Uh, just, I would vote to uh, uh, enter into a mutual um, aid agreement with District Six. Okay. I'll make that motion to uh, enter into agreement with uh, District 6. Second. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, motion's been made by Mr. Kratman, and that was seconded by Mr. Panelitis. All those in favor, please in indicate um, state aye. 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 Any opposed? I'll vote in the affirmative as well, so that would be unanimous. We'll record that for posterity's sake, and hopefully... They'll have that record in 40 years. <laughs> okay, that now brings us to the next item uh, discussion. The next Mr. item, Mr. Chairman, is we're going to Morgan, uh, Morgan um, and um, the town uh, becoming a, a formally applying as an intervener um, status uh, if needed uh, once FERC uh, makes its decision. Um, this has been something that um, has been discussed uh, with the coalition uh, and it's something that other towns have done. Uh, simply what um, I'm recommending the board do tonight is to, uh, in order to protect its legal standing with the courts, should um, we desire to challenge the FERC decision when, it's come, when it comes out, uh, that we file for intervening status um, and uh, just essentially protect, protect the town's legal standing uh, if needed. There's no real administrative costs involved. Uh, if we um, uh, send any correspondence uh, in regard to uh, this issue, uh, we have to inform all of the intervene interveners involved. That would be obviously many uh, towns, but um, I think it's uh, a small um, administrative cost and work to do uh, just to keep us um, 